Little low lines, like this fella. They'll put their head through anything, knock down any fence, get at anything to chew on a tree. They'll eat absolutely anything. Barbed wire doesn't stop them. And look at that tongue. That'll go through any fence, any hole in any fence to get a tree. Here's an olive tree. See how they've beaten down the first set of guards I've put up. Barbed wire, there's a fig tree. Knock the barbed wire down, stick the head through, through dog mesh. Tamarillo tree with all the leaves eaten off if they can reach up and get them. And even kaffir lime leaves which have a spike, these guys will get them. So here's how you do it. You need six metres of uh, Rio or uh, concreting mesh. And I just chopped it into three lots of, of two. Then you just get to the edge, lay it down, start pulling it up, make a bit of a circle. There's no rhyme or reason to this, it just makes it easy. Stick your toes on the bar and pull it towards you. Not hard, no skill on that one. Unless you stab yourself in the stomach, of course. Might help if you had less, a few less beers. Then I just go up and get the other end, pull it up, start making a circle. Anybody can do this. Even I can, I suppose that's why I'm making the video. Anyway, you get it to uh, a bit of a uh, half circle type arrangement. You know when you've got it done because the other end starts sticking you in the bum. And then if you've got no one to help you out, here's the trick. Get a couple of hockey straps, pull the two sides together. It makes it a bit easier when you're twisting the wire around if you can uh, hold it up there. Saves the wire springing out of your hands all the time as you're trying to do it. Hook your hockey straps on, and then I've just got a bit of tie wire. It's you have it around the farm everywhere. It's good for everything. Just cut little short bits off, make them into a little U shape. Once you get this first one on, it uh, makes it a lot easier. Slip them over like this. Put a little bugger or copper, eh? Get him. Give him a bit of a twist. Try not to swear when you're doing the first one. Once you get one in, you tend to be able to uh, get the rest in line, not so hard. Then just work your way down the rib. So you end up with about 2.2 metres high, 2.4 metres high out of your 6 metre length. So nothing's going to get over the top. Yeah, your trees might get a trim if they stick a branch out through it, but then you get a nice shaped tree anyway. Last thing you want is um, branches hanging down with fruit because these bloody little black angus will eat them anyway. Well, pretty much any tree. I guess if you're breeding Santa Catrudus or Brahmins or something a bit bigger, you might need to cut it the other way, but pretty hard to get anything to reach over 2.4 metres. So just finish off your row. I don't know, put five or six on the way down. Give the last one a twist. Off with your hockey straps. I know it took about four minutes. And it's done. And you just stand that up over your trees, whack a star picket down the side, and it's beauty. And a big fat headed thing like this uh, won't be able to stick his head through. What he does is he gives you a big bonk, bonk.